Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and in this video I'm going to continue my series covering how striker fired actions work. In the last video I covered the cock on open design of the Mauser 98K. In this video we will look at an example of a cock on closed design with the Lee Enfield rifle. As with my last video, the most basic element of a striker fired action is the striker itself. Think of the striker as a spring loaded plunger, like what you see in the launcher of a pinball machine. The striker is held back by the sear, and as the trigger is pulled, it will push down on the underside of the sear, causing the sear to pivot along its axis pin, bringing it down and out of contact with the striker, releasing it. Once the striker is released, it will be driven forward by the force of the striker spring into the base of the primer, igniting it and firing off the cartridge. Striker-fired actions will be cocked, or in other words, have the striker brought back into a position to be held by the sear ready to fire in one of two ways either cocking on the opening or closing of the bolt. In the case of the Lee Enfield rifle, the action is a cock on close design, meaning that the striker will cock as the bolt closes. The operator of the firearm begins this process by opening the bolt with the rotation of the bolt handle. This unlocks the bolt, allowing it to travel to the rear. As the bolt rotates, the striker follows a sloped cutout at the rear of the bolt, bringing the striker back. This may seem confusing at first, as this is similar to the way the Mauser action worked when the bolt was being rotated, but the key difference for the Lee Enfield is that the striker only goes back partially, not far enough to fully cock the striker. As the bolt comes rearward, the spent cartridge is extracted and ejected. Extraction is done through the use of the extractor claw, pulling the rim around the base of the cartridge out of the chamber. A simple screw serves as the ejector, popping the cartridge case out of the action as the bolt is brought vigorously to the rear. As the bolt is pushed back forward, a new cartridge will be stripped from the magazine and fed up into the chamber, as will the striker catch on the sear, which has been forced back up, ready to catch the striker by its return spring. It is at this moment that the striker will be fully cocked and the operator of the firearm will experience the resistance of the striker spring. This is in contrast to the cock on open design of the Mauser rifle, where the resistance of the striker spring was encountered during the rotation of the bolt handle. This gives Cock on close and cock on open bolt action firearms a distinctly different feel during the cycling of the action. The bolt locks as it is rotated due to lugs on the bolt turning within a cutout in the receiver or in front of a locking shoulder. Once the lugs are seated behind these locking shoulders, they cannot be driven back by the recoil energy of the fired cartridge. With the striker held back by the sear and the bolt locked in place, the rifle was ready to be fired again. As the trigger pivots the sear out of contact with the striker, the striker will come forward again and the cycle can begin anew. That wraps up my discussion of the Lee Enfield rifle. There are more nuances to its design such as the magazine disconnector or the half cock notch, but as this video was meant to be a basic tutorial of how striker fired actions work, that is best left for another time. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner. Signing out.